Did you know I'm also met? Oh, yeah, because dingles know every single copper, don't they? Uh, no, just because you've been odd ever since we watched the news. All right, fine. He was the one who put me away, yeah? For perverting the course of justice when home farm burnt down. Hiya, sorry. Rona reckons I double booked her, but it's totally pearl. She won't budge off the whole system. Two systems, two appointments, one vet. And the qualified professional looks like she can't organise a routine worming. Well, I'd love to talk worms, but I'm going to go, cos I've left Marlon in the lurch, actually. Oh, you're not stopping for a brew? Just had one. So, um, I'll catch you later, yeah? You two had a Barney or something? No. She's been dead nice. She can be nice. Sometimes. V, I think you maybe need to go after her. So, helping Mal on his code for a nice sit-down, is it? Wayne knows not to get his hopes up. Oh, he's definitely not a happy bunny you legged it before. I reckon Tracy needed the company. She said that news report upset you. Yeah, right, I'm in bits. You, um... You can talk to me, you know, if you need to. Like, I don't mind if it's about death. Can you just go, please? You haven't offered me a drink yet. Rude. You do realise you'll have to pay for that. I might have to rethink this girlfriend thing. You're stroppy as anything and there's zero perks. Oh, there are perks. And your mind is always in the gutter. Well, you've not been complaining. A free tipple might be nice once in a while and less of the back chat. I didn't mean to snap. So why did you then? I really don't want to talk about it. OK. OK, fine. We don't have to. Hey! I found you something before. This might cheer you up. I had a rummage in the loft and you had it somewhere. Is that a joke? No, no, I, I just thought because of what you said you'd yesterday... You'd my nose in it? No, no, of course not. I'd, I just thought you'd like it. My 13-year-old self loved this book. Well, I don't reckon your 13-year-old self would have been friends with mine. Oi, I wasn't posh. Or pregnant. My English teacher gave me this book. <sighs> she was the only one who didn't look down her nose at me. Before, anyway. Before Debbie. After I didn't really go to school. I know you've heard about what I did instead. Megan mentioned it once. But you've been brilliant with Tracy, cos you get it. So thank you. Can't be easy for you, though, the memories of it and that. Past is the past. I don't think about it much. Look, I know you said you don't want to, but if you do ever feel like talking... You can that... stop that now and come here, please. Are you OK? I will be in a minute, yeah. Come here. You're crying. <gasps> what, well, I'm not? Ness. What is it? Nothing. I can't help you if you I don't need talk anybody's to me. help. Oh, so that's normal, is it? Having a little cry while you're kissing me. <laughs> you want normal, you picked the wrong girl. <sighs> okay. This Phil stuff happened to Tracy. And I'm guessing you've been so good with her because something happened to you too. And this is why you're feeling like this now. I better go before Marlon kicks off. Look, if it did, Charity, if it did, we can do something. I, you can tell me anything. I swear, no judgment. We can talk to this D.I. Bales or whoever. D.I. Bales? <laughs> Tracy told me about him. They're taking this stuff really seriously. Even if it was ages ago. Well, I'm not sure that would work. How are you supposed to report the man who raped you? To the man who raped you? I am so sorry. Like I said, I don't think about it much. Was it 
when he arrested you over the fire at home farm. Just keep your sister away from him. All right. What? That's it? I'm done talking. Oh, Charity, please! Get out of it! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, used to it. Have to have rubber bones in my job. Old job. Some cows don't half give you a show. <sighs> OK, I deserve that. Actual cows. I swear I didn't mean that to happen. No, I know. I told you I couldn't promise not to hurt you. Didn't have to be quite so literal. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's not. It's not all right. OK, this is where you save yourself. This is where you swerve a load of trouble and call it quits. You think you can just tell me something like that and I'll go? Believe me, you, you should take the shortcut. Everybody does in the end, anyway. You caught me off balance. I'll live. And you told me as much as you could, but it freaked you out, so we can leave it there until you're ready. And if you never are, then that's fine. Just please don't ever say you're OK when you're not. I'm not OK. <laughs> Working with vulnerable people. He preyed on vulnerable people. Girls who thought he was helping them. Who trusted him, I trusted him. And then he crawls out of the woodwork four years ago and blackmails me. But I don't get my day in court like Tracy, do I? Because I was the one in the dock. He was investigating the fire. Saw my name, couldn't stop himself. He got dirt on Pete. Fit him up for some girl's death he had nothing to do with. Told him he'd drop it all if he got evidence on me. And he did it? Him and Debbie tried. Debbie? Why? She thought I deserved it. I did some bad things to keep the plate spinning back then. Declan wanted to kill himself. His business was going under. I found him throwing petrol around like water. He went through with the fire, but not the suicide. The place was insured for millions. I thought if I helped him look innocent, it'd come up roses in the long run. Got that one monumentally wrong. Confessed in the end. Did my time, and Bale's got his revenge. Revenge? What for? For ruining his career. How? For daring to try and get help. When I was 14. Is that when it happened? When you were 14? After my dad kicked me out, yeah. My dad was older. Strict. Cared what the neighbours thought. He was a drunk. And we lived in a tip. But he was proud. I can imagine how it went down when I told him I was pregnant. When I went into labour, left me at the hospital, took himself down the pub. Gave birth on my own. <sighs> I can't imagine. And then we went to Pat's house. Old friend of the family. Didn't explain why till we got there. She took Debbie off me and that was it. <laughs> I didn't argue. How could I? What use could I be to her? <laughs> Pat was kind. And I held on to that. But everything was different. I had this bit missing. <laughs> and it sort of filled up with anger. And my dad, at Cain for not coming to get me. I couldn't stand it. 
Neither could Dad, so he told me to get out. So where did you go? Oh, I worked my way around the family. They all got sick of me. Pushed everyone too far. Had my 14th birthday in a hostel in Bradford. Then when I ran out of money for that, I was on the streets. Was that how you got into it? Sex work? Got in with some other girls doing it. And we... We looked out for each other. First time I got picked up for soliciting. Bales cautioned me. He sorted me a new coat. Made sure they gave me something to eat when they let me go. I actually used to hope it was him. If a police car turned up. Cos I knew that he'd look after us. He groomed you? Found me one night. Off duty. Paid just to talk. Said he had this flat that I could stay in. That he'd put a roof over my head, I'd get back on my feet, I'd go back to school. And I was so desperate I didn't even ask him why. I was so young and stupid I actually thought he wanted to help me. First night there he raped me. He raped me. But I thought I was lucky. Because there was heating. Food in the fridge and a telly. So I told myself it was all right. That it was worth it. And that I wasn't worth any better. <sighs> Part of me thought he loved me. That he'd chosen me because I was special. <laughs> and I was sure he'd change. He did. He stopped letting me out. Took my keys away. Got violent when I didn't do what he said. Oh, God, Charity. Looking back, I think he was out of his depth. He wasn't much more than a kid himself. Panicking about getting found out. He had to break me before I could pull him under. Only I wasn't so easy to break. Last time he hit me, something just clicked. No more. So I pretended to pass out. Lifted his keys when he was in the bog, and I drove his own police car to the station and told them he beat me up. How is he still on the force? It turns out they don't take you that seriously when you're a police car stealing to an age prostitute. They did investigate. Nothing stuck. It was all hushed up. He got away with a suspension. Turned up on my patch drunk one day. Ranting about missing out on some promotion and his wife leaving him. I had a pimp by then. And he knocked seven bells out of him and he never came back. Till after the fire. You're incredible. What? Well, I knew you'd been through some stuff, but I had no idea how bad it was. Plenty have had it way worse than me. You're so strong. Stop it. Why? Because it was what it was. Abuse. Allowed to be upset. See, this is why I don't talk about it. Well, maybe you need a tour. I will never be his victim. No, you won't. Because you're amazing. But not. Charity, you can let go. It's all right. I've got you. It's okay. I've got you. So what do we do now? Well, uh, you've got Pearl to wrangle, and I am well overdue behind that bar. 
I mean, about Bales. Nothing? Oh, we can. We? You. I can do whatever I want. He's dangerous. You said it yourself. He's still out there working with vulnerable women, day in, day out. People like Tracy. Charity, we have to do something. He's a cop. They look after each other. They'll have to investigate properly this time. There's no evidence. Well, there'll be records. The flat was probably rented in his name and you must have made a statement. I got filed in the shredder. But you don't know that. They only told him he beat me up. So even if they find it, it's no good. Well, getting him for assault sounds pretty good to me. This isn't why I told you. No, I know, I'm sorry, I just... Nobody it's... cared then and they won't now. Rona got a conviction. So did Aaron. Yeah? Look how they painted them in court. I won't stand a chance. And worse, he'd be gunning for me again. Last time it was a year in prison, I really can't see him holding back if I tried to get him for rape. And he's won. Haven't you heard a word I've said? Tracy reported Phil and another girl came forward. Bales did all that to you, there must have been others. I said, I'm not going there and I mean it. OK, OK, I'm sorry. You can go now. I'm not trying Get to... out! Before I say something I regret. Hi there. Um, hi, I, I need to speak to someone about reporting a crime, but it's from years back. Um, happened around 1990, I think. Abuse. A sexual abuse and rape. What's for breakfast? Uh... Well, it's lunchtime and I thought you were at footy training. Well, you didn't wake me up. Well, you've got a phone set an alarm. A rubbish phone. The alarm doesn't even work. All right. I'm hungry. Well, you know where the toaster is? Can't you just be a proper mum? Babe, I'm trying to make you strong and independent like me. And that's what proper mums do. They don't run around after you doing every little thing. Some do. Well, look, there's bacon. Will that do you? Thanks, Mum. I'm really glad you texted, cos I was going to come and see you to say sorry. I thought you might still be mad with me. Well, of course not. You're upset. Well, come on, we haven't got long. Marlon's having a bit of a meltdown cos Chaz is chucking her guts up. And no, 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 me. um, that's not why I wanted to see you. Babe, it's fine. You don't need to be embarrassed. You fancied a booty call and I'm happy to oblige. No, I, I wanted to talk about yesterday. Well, I don't need another therapy session. I'm sorted now, thanks to you. How can you be? You've bottled all that up for years. It doesn't just go away. Not unless you get justice. I don't want to talk about it again, and that's my decision, OK? Not yours! I care about you. I had to do something. What? What have you done? It'll be different this time. I promise. Vanessa Woodfield. Is it OK to call you Vanessa? You said it was a case of historic sexual abuse. Is that correct? You sure you want to do this? She so made the call yesterday. That was a brave thing to do. She was drunk. It doesn't matter if that's what gave you the courage, Vanessa. The fact is, I'm here now. And we treat crimes of this nature very seriously. Can you tell me when this incident happened? has to come from you, Vanessa. I'm sorry. I know you want your friend with you for support. But I have to hear it in your own words. What if she refuses to speak? There's nothing you can do. It's just I know her better than anyone. She's not going to be able to go through with this. That's for Vanessa to tell us. She's right. Would you prefer to talk to me on your own? 
It won't make a difference. I was drunk and I overreacted. I honestly can't do this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You haven't. This is my number. If you change your mind at any time and you want to talk, call me. Thanks. I know it wasn't my place to report it. I was just so angry I couldn't do nothing. You were the only person I told. The only one I trusted. I won't make that mistake again. I'm sorry. Don't! Don't even speak to me. The world is a different place now. So is the police force. You heard what she said. They take allegations like this very seriously. They want to root out people like him. They won't immediately think that it's a lie or blame the victim. Stop calling me a victim! Sorry. You know the way. You think because you're cleverer than me and you've got your degree and everything that you know what's best for me? No! You've lived in a happy little bubble, Vanessa, where everything was perfect and everybody loved you and nobody did to you what they did to me! You can't possibly know what you're dealing with. Bales isn't a sane human being. He isn't normal. He's a monster. Which is why he needs locking up. That's not your decision! I know! I know, and I didn't mean to spring all of this on you. That's why I texted you. I thought you'd come round straight away so we could talk about it before the police got there. We did talk about it and you didn't listen. I wanted you to get the same support that Tracy did. Oh, you mean from Bales? Oh, yeah, that's gonna work. He wouldn't be allowed anywhere near well, you. Well, you'd think that, wouldn't you? But you don't know him! I told you what it was like and still you don't get it. You're always gonna think you know better than me. I don't. I was honestly trying to help. What, by forcing me to do something I didn't want to do? You're almost as bad as him. That's a horrible thing to say. You can go now. Well, stop being like this, please, Charity. How can I make it better? It's too late for that. We're done. I don't want to see you again. Well, what, what, you don't pin me? Oh, finally! She gets it! Now, either you go, or I drag you through that bar by your hair. Your choice. Ron, I'm taking the afternoon off, OK? You... Are you kidding me? Please just get me a white wine. Or hang on to a fancy G&T, actually. Go for the G&T. It's what I'd have if I didn't have to drive. Gene Teatism, please. You can get it yourself. I'll pay. Wow, thanks. Um, so I haven't seen your face around here because I would definitely remember. Well, my mate's arranging his wedding round here. I was supposed to meet him here, but. You've got the wrong day. Cancel the coke. Uh, hang on. Do you need to rush off? I suppose not. Well, we'll have a G&T and a Coke. Can I have a quick cup? Aren't you forgetting something? Like what? Vanessa. We'll be sat over there, bring the drinks. What's she playing at? Don't ask me. Can I have a word? You can have as many as you like, just not with me, thanks. So you actually run marathons, then? I've only done one so far. That's all right. Shows you've got stamina. Charity. What? Why are you trying to humiliate Vanessa? This has got nothing to do with her. Who's Vanessa? Her girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend, actually. Since when? Since mind your own business. Now, why don't you go away and leave us alone? Sorry. Um, it's not a problem, is it? Not for me. Good. You said you were going to the loo, just wondered where you got to. Thought you'd take the hint. I did. Clearly not. 
And Marlon shouldn't let you through here. Well, he was busy, so I just... I just wanted to make sure you were all Get right. Get your dirty hands off me. I'm sorry. You're like every other man I've ever met. You make me sick. All disgusting perverts, a lot of you. Do you know something? The world would be a much better place if every single man was wiped off the face of it! <sighs> Babe, I, di I didn't mean you! So we know her. He's a teenager. Don't you want to check on him? Oh. Just because you're pregnant, you think you're the expert on bringing up kids. You're as bad as me, I remember. Mm, yeah, but I learned by my mistakes. Don't suppose you ever will. Maybe you can talk some sense into her. Oh, you just can't take the hint, you, can you? Megan rang. Oh, should have known. Told you about my new bloke, did she? Who is he? Uh, it's funny that I forgot to ask his name. But he's upstairs waiting for me, so. Charity, please don't do something you'll regret. I already have. Standing right in front of me. This isn't you. You have no idea who I am and what I've been through. You know nothing. I do. You told me everything yesterday. I didn't tell you the half of it. Anyway, better not keep him waiting. You've got one troubled looking daughter over there. The other one's doing her best to cheer her up, but uh, I'll talk to her. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? Just two coffees, please. Oh, Teeny. I'm perfectly fine. She's not worth it. That's what I said. Please don't do that. This was all my fault. All of this is my fault. You might think that, but. I mean, in my experience with Charity, limited experience, she's very good at making it seem like it's your fault. But she's trouble. Everybody knows that. That's right. Anyone who gets involved... I don't with... need any I told you so's either. In fact, since when has that ever been helpful? Hey, now and now. I know you're trying to help, and you think you get what's happened, but trust me, you don't. You don't know Charity. You don't know anything about her. Hey. I can talk to him. Look, Noah, I got your message, but out with your mates ain't gonna cut it. I wanna know where you are. And I'd like to explain about yesterday. Please, just call me. Charity. Excuse me? Please. Not now, all right? Oh, what? I should make an appointment. If you like. Charity! What do you want? I know what I did was wrong, but I made a mistake. We had one row, that's all. So what? You have to punish me? And by sleeping with some random... What do you want me to say? This is me, OK? This is what I do. I'm not someone you can save, Vanessa. What a waste of time. Hey. Come on. Let's get out of here. You are organising the biggest day of her life. Of course she doesn't trust you. Her brother's my best man. He recently got hitched himself, so he's been through it all. He's kind of here representing my other half. When he eventually... Oh, here he is. Sorry. You've been texting me incessantly. I know. Hi. Uh, have we met? I don't think so. So what have I missed? 
Uh, not much. We were just waiting for your input. Apparently, you're an expert when it comes to what women want. Hardly. We were talking about organising some taster menus. Yeah. How would you like that? You get to sample what the village has to offer. Oh. I'm going to phone her. Get her to stop. Mm. Is this necessary? I just hope that your sister has more luck than your wife. Well, nothing happened. That's not what I heard. I don't know what you heard, but the truth is, one minute, your friend was all over me like a nasty rash. The next minute, I'm thankful she lost interest. Alienating randoms now as well, are you? Oh, if only I could alienate you, Megan. I have just had an interesting conversation with Jeff. Who? The bloke you supposedly took to bed last night, only he's claiming nothing happened because she went psycho on him. Excuse me, this is your business because? Vanessa's practically family, and right now she's heartbroken over something that didn't happen. Well, Vanessa knew the score from the beginning. This was never meant to be anything more than a bit of fun. Do you know where she is right now? Crying on Tracy's shoulder, trying to get you out of the system. Megan, thank God you're here. I just got back, and I'm completely out of my depth. Why can't Charity see? I could have been her hero. Oh, no. <laughs> I can put the wind beneath you, Inks. Hey, now, come on, now. Don't waste any more tears on Charity. I have just found out that she didn't even sleep with that guy. What? How do you know? Turns out he is the best man to a client of mine. Apparently, he didn't even get to first base with Charity before she blew him out. So it was all a lie? Why? I don't know what goes on in that head of hers. I know. Oh, we're just getting closer. She, she's just trying to push me away. Yeah, well, then let her. Because whether she slept with that block or not, she's still messing you about. No, I know why she did this. And I can't give up on those, not yet. Darling, there are a million other women out there far more oh, Dad, you don't understand. I did something I shouldn't have and she didn't like it. And this is just her way of shutting me out. I need to go talk to her. Uh, you might want to sort your face out first. Better get a fresh box of tissues on standby for when she comes back. We'll just be over there if you need us, okay? Are you sure this is a good idea? I told you. There's things that need saying. And if she rejects me after that, then I'm out. Can we talk? Haven't you got the message yet? I've got mixed messages, yeah, but I reckon I can crack a charity code. You see. I reckon it goes something like this. You tell me that you've slept with some guy to push me away because you're angry and you've every right to because I shouldn't have gone to the police. But Charity, I only did it because I couldn't bear the thought of that man getting away with hurting you like he did. I need to deal with this my way, OK? I know. And I see that now. And I respect it, honestly. Because if anyone can handle her life and all the crap that might get thrown her way, it's you. Amazing, wonderful you. You think I'm amazing? Totally. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're also spiteful and crazy and so flaming hard. I sometimes wonder if you've got concrete running through your veins, but... I still really like you, Charity Dingle. So there, deal with that. Yeah, well, you're spoilt and a hothead and so unbelievably bossy, it's beyond annoying. And I flame him well like you do. Well, maybe you better kiss me before you say something you might really regret. since daft o'clock with a dream on. Anyway, you looked very peaceful attached to that pillow in your little puddle of drool. Shut up. Good job I like you, innit? Not changed your mind, then. I'm not gonna let Bales ruin another second of my life. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry. Again. I was just looking for Chaz. Uh, she went off first thing. Thought she'd be coming over to you. I mean, Rishi, are you for real? 
fancy doing later then? Do you want me to book a table somewhere or shall we take potluck? Yeah, I don't know, whatever. All right. Way to make a girl feel special. Oh, sorry, babe, I'm just. I'm busy. Uh, it was your idea in the first place. Oh, yes, I know, and I'm saying, please can we rain check because I've got to cover for Chaz now, haven't I? And anyway, uh, I'm not feeling up to it. But we're not going to be at the hospital all night. She's having a tough time. And you know, I love confusing her by being kind to her every once in a while. It does Redding. I know what I said to Paddy, but you know, it is a big deal having a baby, especially at her age. She needs propping up. <sighs> oh, all right. Why don't you book us a table somewhere tonight? I'll get Marlon to cover. Don't let me twist your arm. I'm not massive on apologies, as you well know. But I don't want to see you upset. I've just got a lot on at the minute. Yeah, I know. So, let's make you and me a priority tonight, yeah? No, it's just some initiative being set up to help sex workers. Help them what? Find punters? It's a bad joke. I think you should do it. Sounds really good. God knows they need all the help they can get, don't they? Good for you, babe. Yeah, I mean, well, still early days, I know, and I'm not really sure what I'll be doing, but who knows what kind of a difference we might make. <laughs> you or what? Hmm? Johnny and Eliza are on the sleepover. Megan's taken loads of pixie. Do you know what'll be even cuter? Was continuing our little sleepover. Oh, I've got to work. Oh, it's filing. Pearl can do it. I'm the office manager. Yeah, well, guess what? I need a bit of management. <laughs> Cheeky man. Isn't that what you love about me, babe? You're in a good mood today. Yes, I am, because I have decided to focus on the important things in my life. Why is she still here? Well, why shouldn't she be? I've made some toast if you're hungry. Like I don't want anything you've touched. No! Uh, it's all right. I'm not much of a morning person either. I don't like you any time of the day. <laughs> Does it look like I'm joking? I am so sorry about him. It's okay. Um, look, I'm supposed to be opening up today, so I'll, um, I'll catch you later. You are so grounded. Wanna bet? Can you at least try and make an effort? Babe, I really like her. You do know what lost. Well, actually, do you know what? It might. You never stay with anyone for long. Well, Vanessa's different. What, because she's not a man? No, not necessarily. Because I trust her. So, <sighs> babe, it would mean the world if you could just try and be nice to her. Legal to throttle teenage boys. Ooh, I thought you had a poncho for teenage boys. What's happened? Mm, Noah thinks I'm the devil incarnate. This will cheer you up. When was this taken? What's wrong? Um, sorry, I need to. Can I keep this? I mean, no man should spend that long in the bathroom. Or has he never heard of air freshener? Well, he lives here now, so I'll get used to it. Um, babe, you're right. Clearly isn't. Go and change a barrel. I used to upset about Noah, cos guess what? I've had a word. He, he will come round eventually, I'm sure of it. He's not the problem. Look at him. In my house, bold as brass. Why are you showing me this? Because that pervert is heading up the task force that Tracy's been roped into. We need to do something. You might. Charity! You can't run away from this. Look, I am not running away, OK? I'm actually going into town to get some new shoes. There's only one reason Bales wants to get up close and personal with sex workers. You know how dangerous he is. I'm just trying to forget about him, actually. Yeah, and I get that. But think about Tracy. You know how easily influenced she is. If he gets his hooks into her, she needs someone strong who can stand up to I'm him. I'm not strong, OK? Not when it comes to him. Even just seeing him again makes me feel small and creepy, OK? A scrawny 14-year-old pinned to a mattress. I'm sorry, I don't need this. Don't start, OK? I didn't mean to upset you. I know how much that man damaged you. 
Like I said, it's in the past. The past never really goes away, does it? If it did, you wouldn't be reacting like this. Imagine if he does something terrible to Tracy and we did nothing to stop it. She can look after herself. Trace, can I have a word? Oh, in a bit, V, I'm busy. Look, I'll keep you out of it. But I have to go, Warner. Wait! Just give me a minute, yeah? Well done. Hi. Sorry, are we interrupting? Oh, Charity. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. How do you think? Uh, sorry, uh, not really sure what you're doing here. She's my girlfriend. And uh, you are? Tracy's sister. Think of us as her moral support. Thanks, guys. Right. Well, uh, I won't keep you. Yeah, well, uh, guess I'll see you later, then. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to meet Jana. Yeah, I can, uh, I can take that meeting if you've got company. Um, you don't really need to be there. Right. What was that about? Him and Charity have got history, you know that. Yeah, what I don't know is why it's such a big deal. Dad says you've written a speech. Bung the kettle on then while I have a look. Babe, I'm going to give it a miss and I need to get back to the pub rescue chaff. Ooh, blimey. <laughs> Your writing style's improved. Stay away from her. What? You heard. You can't start telling me what to do. You want to bet? I know who you are. Oh, you know nothing about me. I know what you did to me. Oh, OK. I got you sent down for a while for the home farm fire. But it all came good for you in the end. Why beg grudges? Are you for real? I don't care about that. I care about how you treated me as a kid. That was a very long time ago. Oh, don't give me that water under the bridge rubbish. Oh, so you're still a scrappy little tart, are you? Well, of course you're not. You're grown up, you moved on. So have I. What, by finding a way of getting close to vulnerable girls? You need to back off. I'm trying to be reasonable. Well, I'm not. I'm telling you this for your own good. You can't touch me. You're not going anywhere until we've got this sorted, OK? You need to leave Tracy alone. Don't answer to you. Seriously, you need to do what I tell you. And if I don't? Well, then you'll get what's coming. You want to take me on? I'd break you into little pieces. And you know I can. You don't scare me. Why are you quivering, then? <laughs> it's the same old charity. For all the sound and fury, you're just a frightened little kid trying to look hard. I was never a kid, though, was I? You made sure of that. I tried to help you. Help? You were a young girl on the streets. Did my best to protect you. By passing me around your mates? I'm not that person anymore. And why wreck up the past, anyway? Except you're still trying to get your hooks into young women, aren't you? You're misjudging me. I'm up for a promotion. This is good for my career. Nothing more. <laughs> and you expect me to believe that? I honestly don't care what you believe. Well, you better, because... In answer to your earlier question, yeah. Yeah, I am ready to take you on. I've done scared. Where did that get me? You go anywhere near Tracy, and I will expose you for the pervert you really are. Charity! Back off! Tracy, don't! No, this is an important community project. I'm not going to let her scupper it. Look, when you got sent down, he was just doing his job. It wasn't his fault. I've tried explaining that to him. You're not messing this up for me. Fine. Your funeral. <sighs> so sorry about her. No problem. Listen, Mark. That meeting with Janet. I'll definitely be there. <sighs> Tracy's still not picking up. I know it took a lot for you to face up to Bales. For all the good it did. Yeah. But we can't just leave it like this. I've warned him off. She isn't taking no for an answer, Well, then, though. if she wants to get involved with Bales, that's her lookout. Have you forgotten what that man did to you? When I was a kid. Tracy is a grown woman. She can handle herself. 
Oh, like she did when Phil came sniffing around. She was in bits. I can't let her go through something like that again. We have to tell her what it's really like. No way. Charity? It's not gonna happen, okay? She already knows a bit about your past. She doesn't know everything, though, does she? The things that man did to me, it's not something I want to share with anyone. So please, stop asking me to. If I tell Tracy what he did to me, she's going to tell someone else. Not deliberately, maybe, but it's what we do. Someone tells us a terrible secret and we get the overwhelming urge to share it. Fair point. What that man did to me belongs to me, nobody else. I get that. But what if he does the same to her? Like, Tracy, I love her, but she's not a proper grown-up, is she? Her heart's on her sleeve, she trusts people. But Bales will see that, and what if he uses it to get what he wants? Can you live with that? Because I can't. If I tell her what he's like, she better keep her mouth shut. She will. Seriously, not a word, not to anyone, not a dad, not David, not anyone. She was abused herself, she won't say anything. OK. Well, I'll speak to her when she comes home, then. <sighs> she should've been back by now, it's her turn to do the tea. Where is she? Hmm. She went with him to the conference centre. He wouldn't do anything to her there. How can you be so sure? What, molest her in public, in broad daylight? No, that was never his style, babe, believe me. Well, it might be now. What if he's taken her somewhere Will else? You stop worrying. She's Charity, gonna... she's my sister. How can I not worry? <sighs> I'm not sure this is the right venue. Oh, it's a good space. Won't cost us anything. Countrywide Community Task Force. Should we be launching in Leeds? <laughs> Why, because sexual exploitation only happens in big cities. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not saying that. Listen, I, I feel like you're trying to freeze me out. Is he? Why? Oh, just... He got my sister's girlfriend sent down years ago and... Why does that need to be an issue? Well, it isn't. You know, not, not for me. Good. I read your interview in the paper. You're a real inspiration. We're lucky to have you on board for this campaign. Though, as a civilian, your role will be fairly peripheral. No. We need proper community input for this to work. You found a real gem here. Thank you. And don't worry about charity. I mean, her family just don't get on with police, but I'll make sure she leaves you alone. Yeah, my advice, give her a wide berth. Mm, easier said than done. <laughs> All the same, I'm not going to let her spoil this. Good for you. Oh, no, it's OK, I can get my own taxi. Well, you're on expenses now. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Thanks. And... I really appreciate you giving me this opportunity. You're welcome. Hmm. What are you doing here? I told you to sling your hook. Well, she won't say no for an answer. But like you never did. The chief superintendent's got involved. Tracy's part of the team now. Well, that's a shame for you. Because now everyone's going to find out what a total perv you really are. You need to stop calling me that. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to rearrange my face? Going to chain me to a radiator for old time's sake? <laughs> I'm not afraid of you anymore, I've told you. Yes, you are. Uh, you destroy me, I'll take you down with me. And I'm sure your girlfriend would look at you in a whole different light if she knew what you used to do for a packet of wine gums. You're sick. No, I'm not. I'm like you. A person with a past they'd rather forget. Now, you need to stop making idle threats and listen to what's going to happen. OK? Take it or leave it. Why should I trust you? I'm a police officer. My word is my bond. And if I don't agree? Well, fine, then. Tell your sordid little stories. Your word against mine. Who are people going to believe? A high-ranking police officer on course for promotion, I'm an ex-prostitute who spent years on street corners. <sighs> well, that's a piece of cake compared to what you put me through. Yeah, be sensible. I'm only offering you this because I could do without the asshole. I don't need anything from you. Well, you say that. But every tart has a price. £20,000. More than generous. 
You got till tomorrow to decide. Choose wisely. Coffee, please, Rodney. Yeah, coming right up. Trace is meeting up with Bales again today. She's full of all the exciting plans he's got. Where did you get to last night? I thought we were going to warn her against him. Yeah, I know, but, um... Well, he's looking at getting a promotion, isn't he? So he's not going to do anything to risk that, so she's safe. You know we can't trust a man like him. What's changed your mind? Charity, is there something you're not telling me? <sighs> OK, look. Yesterday I might have gone to see Bales. He's offered me 20 grand to keep quiet. Oh, please don't tell me you're even considering it. If you take that money off him, you'll never get justice. Well, at least I'd be glad to see a bent copper getting put away. It will never go to court, trust me. They look after their own. Yeah, which is what I'm trying to do. Trace is my sister, we have to protect her. And that's the bottom line now, isn't it? Suddenly what's happened to me don't really matter. So it's all about helping your sister. Well, what about my family? That 20 grand could go a long way to helping my family. But taking the money won't change anything. Charity, you can't accept it. Never tell me what I can or can't do, all right? I'll leave you to it. Are you sewing issues? Nothing important. Well, it didn't look like nothing. You've got your secrets and I've got mine, all right? Back so soon. Well, lucky I am, so I can prove you were wrong. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Look at them, laughing and joking. They're just talking. Passing time. She's just broken up with David, which makes her vulnerable to a bit of sweet talk. Well, if she's stupid enough to fall for a creep like that, it's not my fault. And you know what? She's your sister. You warn her off. Well, she'd be more likely to listen if you told her what you know about him. You doing here? We got unfinished business. Remember? Get out of my house. I'm warning you. Yeah, calm down. There's no need for any unpleasantness. There's a simple way out of this for both of us. So, do we have a deal? What's going on? Nothing. I just wonder what Bales was doing here. Oh, forget him. Babe, listen, as an apology for earlier for snapping, I'd like to take you to the new fancy French restaurant in Hotton, my treat. Would have thought that was a bit too pricey. Well, like I say, don't worry, my treat. Please don't tell me you've just sold my sister out for 30 pieces of silver. Charity, how could you do that? After all he put you through. I can't believe you're letting him get away with it. Please, Vanessa, we just changed the record. I've heard all this before. But all you had to do was talk to her. You think it's so easy, don't you? Well, I'd have been there to help you through it. It's all so simple for you. They take the nasty little man away and then we all live happily ever after. Look, Charity, it's not too late. We can still get him put away. Yeah. In your middle-class, comfortable world, maybe. Not where I came from. I am not kidding myself that his money is going to change much, but you know what? At least it'll feel like one small victory. You are worth so much more. Not on a street corner in Leeds, I wasn't. Please, Vanessa. Don't lecture me on stuff that you don't understand. I need to sort out my own life by myself, OK? Like I always have done. I'll go do my homework. OK, plenty of time for that. Got a present for you. I know. Your brother's not the only one who can splash out on amazing presents. Go and enjoy. Very generous today. Yeah. And, uh, babe, uh, will you take this? Get something for the kids from me. 
No, it's going to see through him soon enough. There's no point bankrupting yourself in the meantime. Charity. What is going on? She doesn't want me interfering. But I only do it because I care about her. Well, maybe you should tell her that. Does giving that money away make you feel better about taking it? What I do with my money is my business. I'm not changing my mind. I got that message loud and clear. This has always been your decision to make, not mine. I was out of order. You change your tune. I care. Even if you don't make it easy for me. Whatever you decide to do, I want to help you through it. If you still want me to. Thank you. Hey. Do you want to make up to me properly? Mm -hmm. A fit policeman. A man she can trust. She has no idea. God, I had to bite my tongue. My sister could end up in bed with a rapist or in a relationship. I'll never forgive myself if that happens. Never forgive me, you mean? No, I'm not blaming you, honestly. Charity, none of this is your fault. But I have to tell her the truth before it's too late. He's dangerous and I don't want her getting involved with him. Neither do I. But he's just given me 20 grand to keep my gob shut. So if I suddenly do the opposite, I don't even want to think about how he's going to react. I hate the fact that he's still got a hold over you. Well, at least it's not in the same way that it was. But it could be for Tracy. Right, we can't let that happen. She has just been cheated on by David and now all this with Bales. Maybe that's the answer. What? I don't need to tell her he was a rapist to put her off him. There are other ways. You didn't need to ring me now. Oh, it's not on my way. Do you want to come in for a drink? Shouldn't you be getting back to your wife? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I never said you had a wife. No, I thought that you would. <laughs> Just, um... <laughs> I'd better let you go. <laughs> and thank you again. Maybe see you at the next meeting? Yeah, next meeting. Yeah. <gasps> So oh, sorry, I forgot. Your wife left you, didn't she, because of me. I really hope I haven't ruined your plans this time. Do not play games with me, Charity. Stay away from Tracy. She won't sleep with you now she thinks you're married. What, you seriously think I'm interested in her? I know you. No, you think you do, but you need to keep up with the facts. Yes, I am married again, actually, and she's better than the previous one. So you did me a favour last time, really. You're not wearing a ring? Oh, aren't you observing? So... I got a beautiful wife, two great kids, big house, big car, big fat paycheck every month. You think I'm going to risk all that on an ex-hooker, even if she's throwing herself at me? I'm a respected police officer. The likes of you and her, you're nothing. Go on then. What did Bale say? Well, I've made sure Tracy's going to stay clear, so don't worry. I lied to her that he was married and she backed right off. The thing is. He is married again. Got the big house. Adoring kids. I mean, that's what he said. He's got the perfect life. I mean, he's making that up, right? I mean, who would marry him? He will be living in the gutter, because that's where he belongs. Right, just forget about him. I already have. I've been ringing you for ages. Where have you been? Chas said you were late for your shift. Well, I'm here now. <coughs> hey, something happened. Shouldn't you be watching Rona put a pet down or something? Sorry. Yeah, fine. All good. What's wrong? This is about Bales, isn't it? Followed him from the police station today. I kept turning it over in my head, what he said. That he had this dream life. And I thought if I could just see proof that it was a lie, that I could get over him. 
Only I guess scum really does rise. Because he's got it all. Big house. Kids. What did you do? Nothing. I wanted to run over. Blow the whole thing up in his stinking face. You know, tell his wife what he was. If I couldn't, I just sat there watching, thinking, how does he get this? You need to get him out of your head, Charity. Please promise me you won't go back there again. I just needed to see it there once, that's all. Just making sure you're okay. You rushed out. You were so upset. I know, I just, I overreacted with Joe. I know that. Just needed a walk. I needed to clear my head. But I'm, I'm fine now. I'm absolutely fine. I'll speak to you later, okay? Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, yeah, I got your text. Um, I just had to nip into town for... Uh, for a plunger, actually. I know, well, the pub blues are blocked again. It's a nightmare. So, do you know what? I'm going to give it to Charles as a late birthday present. <laughs> oh, no, tell me about it. Sometimes I can't believe how much I love my life. Okay, babe. And I blame you for it. Every little bit. You are sailing dangerously close to avoiding me. Please. Just leave it, yeah? This isn't actually about us. Why? What's happened? I went to Bales's house again. You didn't. I keep imagining the bit where I tell his poor, deluded Carver wife who she really married. But I never reached the front door. What do you mean, never? <sighs> because I've been going there the past few days, OK? Because he's managed to wheedle his way back in here. And he knows that now because he saw me. So what did he say? Nothing. I drove off. I saw him on the phone. He was talking, laughing, joking. I mean, he's probably killing himself that he's pulled this off, that he's got away with it all. No, he hasn't got away with it all. Well, look at you. Look at you, Charity. You bit back. You got on with your life. Wow, that was fast. Would you have been as speedy if I'd been robbed at gunpoint, or as, um... Bell's got a special bat phone or something else that rhymes with bat. You know why we're here then? Saves time at least. So parking outside someone's house to take a phone call is now harassment, is it? You've admitted to knowing you're outside D.I. Bell's home. We're aware he was instrumental in securing a previous conviction against you. Well, like I say, it was a coincidence. I wouldn't have known he lived there had I not seen him gawping through the window like some... Neighbourhood watch weirdo. I'm giving you a warning to stay away from D.I. Bales. Fine by me. We'll see ourselves out. <sighs> Please say you're going to listen to them. Talk about once a spiteful coward. There he goes again, sticking the knife in. Oh, I hate him. Charity, you need to stop this now. Do I? I have begged you to report that low life, but you took a bribe to stay away. If he thinks you're going after him, God knows what he'll pull. He's well connected enough to get away with it. Look, just back off, please. Don't give him any more chances to ruin your life. And that means steering clear of Trace's task force thing tomorrow. Right. 
Look, once it's launched, she'll hopefully have no reason to see Bales. And after that, we never have to say that man's name again, OK? Right. Uh, hey, easy. Well, I've been called a lot worse. Stop it. Are you kidding me? You're telling me you don't fancy a cheeky little squeeze? Oh, I came to see if you're OK. No, you did not. You came to check up on me. So I figure while you're here, I'll get a bunk up out of it. Charity, just be serious. Fine! So Bales is playing God to a bunch of suckers later on in Hotton. I know! You'll be happy to know I've drawn a line under that because 20 grand did that for me. Didn't stop you stalking, eh? Well, I had a moment relapse. Which you can't risk again. I know! So I'm not going to give Bales any excuse to send his boys in blue round again, OK? And if you're not here for a bunker, I've got punters to serve, actually, while Chaz is busy turning the guts inside out upstairs. So if you really want to babysit someone, why don't you go see to your sister? Look, Charity, you don't have to pretend to be all right with me. And I don't need minding, OK? I'll see you later. Morris should be well supported. I do believe there's a certain D.I. Bales who's taken her under his wing. He'll look after her. I'm sure he will. Shouldn't you be wowing some idiot crowd right back now? And I'm not stepping back. You don't scare me anymore. I'm not here to scare you, Charlie. Oh, right. So you're just here to show off your flash new wheels, then, are you? And your flash new watch and your flash new life. <laughs> I'm disappointed. See, I thought we had agreed that we were going to stay out of each other's way. But then you show up outside my house. It's creepy. I'm the creepy one. I just want to make sure that you're OK and you're not going to break our agreement. And my trust. I never said a word to those goons you sent to my place. Good. Because I need to think we no longer have an understanding. Because then I'd have to explore other measures, you know, to stop your sordid little stories from getting out. Stories? OK, lies. Because that's all anybody's ever going to think of them. So then why are you here warning me off again? Warning? No, I'm worried about you. I'm being a nice guy. I mean, you remember how it was when I'm not. So you steer clear out of my way, and I steer clear out of yours. That's simple. And I'll become a DCI, and you can stay here in your dump of a life where you belong. And we never have to see each other ever again. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a good girl. Thank you all for joining us to launch the Hotton District campaign to support sex workers. I don't know if I can Our do first that. Speaker Just think of the why. Why it matters. Why, this campaign why you came here today. Now more than ever, Tracy Metcalf. <laughs> thank you, DCS Wordsworth. And thank you all for coming. <clears throat> this campaign will not only change lives, it will save them. I know this because I'm a... <clears throat> I'm a former sex worker. I'm not proud of this. But I'm not ashamed either. I was broke. I was hungry. And I was desperate. And some people, some men, preyed on that, on me. And they still prey on the vulnerable. The very people who need help and protection and hope. And that's why we're here today, <laughs> to give protection and hope to those who fall through the cracks. Hey, is Charity upstairs? No. Well, where is she? Well, I'm stuffed if I know. But why don't you find out where she is and drag her back here, quick? 
because my stomach's not holding up and I need some help out here. Sex workers need our help and support. And they need more people like our next speaker, who has brought together the many agencies involved in this campaign to give sex workers a safer life. This man has personally helped me face my own demons and <clears throat> has even helped to convict one. He has spent his career tirelessly fighting for the rights and the care of sex workers. He's a hero in blue. It's D.I. Bales. such a warm and uh, um, undeserved uh, uh, introduction and uh, welcome. Um, but I'm definitely no hero. I'm just a bloke. But uh, a bloke who wants what we all want. Respect for all women. This campaign is finally a reality. Sex workers are not less than any of us. I've dedicated my life to helping these women turn their lives around. And they deserve our respect, our kindness, and our protection. Because every woman counts. All women count. Except me, yeah? Because I'm guessing if I'd counted for anything, then you wouldn't have hurt me, would you? Charity. Charity, don't. You need to stop with this vendetta. It's all right, Tracy. I'm so sorry for what you suffered. But you must stop lying. <laughs> now, please excuse this outburst. This woman has been through a terrible ordeal. Yeah, at your hands. I mean, now it's like these idiots. I thought you were a hero. Someone that wanted to actually help me, to, to save me. I tried, but... But what, but what? But you thought it would be much more fun to keep me locked away for months, did you? Yeah? To keep me as your little plaything? Just for you and your paying mates. Leave it be. Charity, we can get you help. That's what you said the last time. And then you raped me, didn't you? Over and over. I was just a kid. You're imagining things. She's wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. To ever take a penny from you. Here. Take it. Take your hush money. And I swear to God, I'll get you back all your 20 grand, yeah? Because I have done some terrible stuff for money. But nothing this awful. Taking cash from you, so no one knows who you are and what you did. Leaving you in charge of the very girls you're a danger to. You think I'm going to do that, do you? Well, take it. I don't want any of it. Hurry up and just get her out of here. You're going to pay now, Bales, for everything that you did to me. You're going to pay. He did it. He did all of it. He tried to help you, and this is how you thank him. Don't try and raise him with a love. You're a disgrace. Why would I lie to him? Why? I've got everything to lose. Why would I lie? What are you doing? Move out of my way. When this situation's calmed. It's calmed. Let me go with her. Faye. There's someone hurt her. She gets him confused with me. You liar. Every word Charity said is true. Well, she thinks it is, but it's not. You're a girlfriend. Help her. Help get the right support. Hey. Ah, oh, Finchy. Uh, Finchy is. She's ex police. I had to arrest her a few years back. Did you mess with the poor woman's recollections? Oh, stop it! These are very serious allegations, D.R. Bales. They need to be investigated. You know me, Gov. I champion these women. I don't hurt them. Go home. Wait for me to call. Hey. I 
have to go. She needs me. Can you just hurry up and charge me so I can get out of here, please? We're not charging you. And that's it? So I can leave now? Free to go, yes. So you'll need to sign for this at the desk. That's his money. I don't want it. But it's your horse. Keep it. I am not taking it. And I'd like to leave, please. You've made some very serious allegations against an officer. <sighs> oh, I see. Shut my mouth or you'll shut it for me. We will refer this to the Professional Standards Department. You will be in contact. Oh, right, so if I make it official, you can clear your mate's name and drag mine through the mud. Is that right? Well, do you know what? Don't bother. We can't ignore the allegations you've made. We need to investigate them. You think I haven't been here before? The last time I trusted you people with this, I was done for stealing cars and kicked back on the street while he... Well, he's still here, isn't he? So if I really am free to go, I would like to. No. Please, burn it, donate it, give it back to Bales. I am not touching that money again. 